What's good one shot gang, Redondo Kid back with another video and today we are going to be doing a different type of tutorial. I'm going to be doing like a photoshop tutorial on how to make loop kit cover arts because I feel like it's important since when I was making uh, loop kits I didn't really know what to do for the cover art when I first began. I'm going to start off with this, I think the most important part is just finding an image so what I would go to is Pinterest, probably other websites, I'm not a complete expert on this because I don't use photoshop that much but um, I would search in like loop kit cover art uh vintage aesthetic art something like that find something along the line of these and uh just click click on ones you like for example this one's good i kind of like this uh this one here i already found one that i liked for this video i'm gonna go ahead start a new project in a five by five inch template and um drag and drop in the one that i picked out so it's this one right here now we're going to stretch this all the way out. So I'm going to start off by adding some text onto it. You can download fonts from this website called thefont.com. And um, I picked out a cool one from it. We'll just go in, type in, I'm going to call it anthemic. That's what I want my loop kit to be covered called. We're going to center this. And then what I want to do, since this is like a circular design, let's go into warp text, go to arc, and then put it at like 43. Just see what looks good. 45. We'll try that. Yeah, that um, that fits pretty good. Let's put this down here. I'm going to copy and paste it, create another one of these. And then for the second one, I'm going to zoom in. We're going to drop it down. And then we're going to um, just drag this under it. You can just switch the layers there. And make sure it's like right there okay so now we got this for our title and then let's go into stickers here's where you can get some cool designs let's take out this little thing just make it like a little price tag or something just looks cool let's make it a little bigger control t to do that um and then what else should we add let's get this little tape thing again just trying to go for the vintage feel Turn it, um, put it like, uh, yeah, that looks pretty good. Maybe make it a little bigger. And then what else should we add? I think I'm going to add my name down at the bottom here. So let's just add that. Center it. All right, cool. So yeah, so far this is what we have. I'm gonna do the same thing I did with the other text where I'm gonna change this color to like that. All right, and that's basically gonna be the loop kit cover art. This one's pretty, this one was pretty simple. You can go way more complicated for other ones, so I'll show you some examples of ones that I have that are a lot better. Well, actually this one's pretty good, but not better, but more complex. So like we got this one. I just dropped this loop kit today, actually, I'm recording this. But as you can see, I took the image and then I put this little CD um, texture, put the little price tag, you know, that Redondo kit down here. Here it is. Put it down here. That looks pretty cool. Make it smaller. All right, yeah, I kind of like that. All right, great. That's our. This is gonna be our cover art. So yeah, this is more of like a uh, Sofago uh, Jetson made loop kit. So I'm not gonna make it super dark. I want to make kind of spacious. You know, that's why we got the. Uh, chrome globe right here with some stars but yeah that is how you make cover arts for loop kits this is your dono kit from one shot gang signing out so peace